hi friends welcome all of you back to my youtube channel this is virtual tech chart amp one in this tutorial i'm going to show you the way that you can connect from using this napster v application and how to create a config for this napster net application and how to share any config file or import any config file to this application and all the things that you want to know about this application i will show you today so let's start our video and see how we can use this application on any android device please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification net and join with me Okay friends, first of all we need to have a pre-buggable host before going to the connecting process of this uh, national TV application through. If you don't know a free host or if you don't know the way that you can find a pre-buggable host that support to connect through your ISP, you need to uh, watch my previous tutorial that I created for that uh, topic. So you can refer that video from the given link in the description of this video then you will be able to find a pre-buggable host for your service provider as the next step you need to go to the fastss.com to create a v2ray account now click on this vlace option now scroll down and you need to find uh, vlace ws plus grpc uh, account because of that's the only account uh, which work for my country i don't know whether others are working for your country in my case only working is uh, this server protocol uh, that called vlace plus w uh, uh, grpc so when it comes to here you need to enter a, a username for your config and also you need to enter sni bug host to here i'm not going to provide these settings uh, because of my one is not compatible for your country and also to the network provider so you all need to find a free sni buggable host from watching my previous tutorial now i have entered my uh, account name and uh, my uh, host name so then i have to enable this uh, I am not robot option and then I can click on this create account option now my account will be created here now you can see it's creating now I can copy my account into the clipboard so then I need to open this NaftaNet V application Now you need to click on this icon then click on this plus button and click on import config from clipboard option. Now click on v2ray config url option. Now our uh, newly created uh, v2ray account has successfully imported to this application. Now I need to select this v2ray account. You can select this v2ray account from clicking on it then press back button and we can connect to this account from clicking that uh, play icon so you can see it's connected successful let's we try to uh, check our connection speed so you can see connection is working successfully now i can check my connection speed also then click on go so here is the connection speed now i am going to show you the way that you can uh, create a config file using this configs so i need to uh, close my vpn before going to that process then you need to click on here then uh, click on the share icon now enter config file name now click on this lock the configuration option if you want to uh, allow rooted devices you need to enable this tick if you want to block the rooted devices you need to leave it 
as it is and also you can lock your config with the fast cert and other than this you can set the expiry date for your config So if you want to give any message to your users, you can uh, enter that message also here. You can add the surplus SSH saver message also. Now click on here to save your config and allow to file access. Okay, now we can save our config. Uh, so our config saving process is completed. Then we can uh, check how we can uh, import a config here. So you can see there are no configs. Now I am going to import that docket config here. Click on this plus button and uh, click on import uh, npv for config file option then click on ok now here is the config file that we have created now then uh, in here we need to enter the password of this config to uh, import that config to our phone here is the password that I have entered then click on ok now you can see our config importing process is completed now I need to select this config and then I can connect to that config also from clicking here then we can check our connection you can see our connection is also working then I'm going to test the connection speed once again click on go So you can see our newly created config file also successfully working. So guys, now I'm going to end up this video. Thank you all for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification and join with me. If you have any problem, please comment below.